Welcome, fight fans, to the second event of the Palmetto Fight Series here at the Hall in Sombrero. TCS Global Entertainment is proud to present an afternoon of sizzling action with the best in local boxing. Featuring the bright, bold, and beautiful Dragon Ladies, as well as our DJ, Flaco Garcia. Well, it's an exciting event. You know, we have fighters from the 941. We have fighters from all over the uh, local area, Tampa, Orlando, St. Pete, Fort Myers, and other places. You know, what it is is me being a former champion, me being a fighter, to give these fighters an opportunity to fight in their hometown, to be able to show their talent. And so we're working together. I believe teamwork makes a dreamer, and that's what we're doing. We're teamed up with uh, David uh, at the Hall, Elson Barrows, and we, you know, we're bringing a low-cost, quality performance show in town. The age range from, age from 9 all the way to 27, 30 years old, so there's a variety. But like I said, you know, we, we, we're trying to bring, we're working out trying to bring boxing back on a more regular basis. Like if you have a football team, basketball team, baseball team, so these fighters, they put their hard work in, put the effort, they, have a, they get, get a chance to showcase their talent in front of their family, friends, and loved ones. I've been blessed. I have people to help me, guide me, giving me my path, my direction, so it's only right for me to get back. You know, I look at kids, they make up 25% of the population, but they're 100% the future. And you never know who might be the next champion. And would it be a blessing to have the next champion come right out here in my local area, my local community. So, you know, that's what it's all about. This is our second opportunity, and it's, um, it's just a great, uh, China's been great to work with. Um, it's an all-age event. It's just a real good thing for the community. and real, real proud to honor it and real proud to have them. I, I just like to see various people, all different races and ethnicities, from uh, come around and see the fight, and especially see the kids. It's just a last time was a great time, and I think it's going to be even better today. Well, the hall is kind of uh, known as mainly a nightclub, so it's great to have a good family event, something positive for the community during the day. We're really—he's uh, just a pro to work with. Honored to meet him, and I'm afraid of him really. That's why we have him here. Well, yeah, the one behind me is my son. He's uh, China Smith the third. So it's just a good feeling to be able to bring my son along and teach him the road, show him how not to be a champion in boxing, but a champion in life. And so this is some, um, one of my brother, Gomez, we go way back since eight years old. And uh, some other fighters, Titus, Anthony, they're uh, upcoming fighters. Uh, he does MMA. He's a professional fighter. So, you know, that's what we're doing. We're looking to do the best. <laughs> My name is Titus Humphrey. I'm 22 years old. Uh, I went to college in Pikeville University, and my, my main thing was to play football, and uh, it just didn't work out for me. Uh, I found a guy. I was taking karate classes up there, and uh, he told me that he believed that I could be a, a fighter if I really wanted to. And, and, and from that point on, I was into fighting. Uh, as soon as I got back down, I hit China up, and, and that was that. Anthony Overby from Virginia. Uh, I started watching my cousin box, decided I wanted to do it about three years ago. Uh, professional fighter now. To me, the best part about it is, is the fight. Actually, you train, but the fight is showtime, it's party time. That's the best part about it. That's what the training, the hard works, and everything else you put in every day of the week. Just for that one, that one Saturday night, you get to put the gloves on. Oh, uh, I love it. You know, anything to help, my, help out my dad, you know. And I see trying to do something for the community to better the community and bring boxing back, back home, as I can say. So anything I can do to help would be best. Being mental and having a strong mental mind, you know, and that's like, that has something to do with everything, just like in life. I think that's what, that's the real message what my dad trying to get out, you know, being focused and anything, anything you want to do, just being focused with it and putting it first. If you like contact, other than football, where it's a team sport, it's just one-on-one -on -one contact, man versus man, hey, boxing is the best thing to go to me. <laughs>
We actually sanction about 30 shows a year, uh, taking up most of the weekends. Uh, we also, most of our people go to different events, national events, international events. Well, it's, it's nice to have the different uh, people bring back to the sport that uh, when they started, uh, we have a lot of our boxers uh, started eight, eight years old and go on and some, not many, but some reach uh, the status uh, of in the pro boxing. And it's nice to have them come back to amateur boxing and to help the kids. And this isn't uh, anything like pros. Uh, we, it teaches the kids uh, uh, responsibility. Uh, it also helps them uh, off the street, keep them off the street, and where they're uh, not getting in themselves in trouble. And they learn a, uh, a good boxing art. That these kids do uh, put a lot of time and effort into their sport, uh, and they're showcasing their, their art right now. We are uh, TCS Global Entertainment, so we are the ring girls for China. We like the fact that, and I think the girls can agree, uh, we come here to support our fighters. It's very important to have the community be part of such a huge uh, community event, especially that China Smith is holding it out for us. Boxing is not really well known in, in Sarasota, Florida and Palmetto. A lot of people don't know so much about it. So it's very important to bring um, the community together to support such a huge event that we want to look forward to. I just think it's cool that we all get to come together. We all live in different parts of Florida, and once a month we get to get together as a team. We love it, the environment, and it's just fun. It's not even like a job, it's just fun. <laughs> I love everyone here, the atmosphere, it's great. And then, of course, what's not to love? Boxing and beautiful ladies, so <laughs> come see the dragon lady. <laughs> It's all just putting up the stage for the athletes. It's all about the athletes. It's all about the competition and the great local talent that we have in, in this entire area, all the way up from, from Orlando, all the way down to Miami. So the beautiful thing about what China is doing and what he's trying to do is uh, he's bringing these young fighters, giving them a chance to get into the ring and seeing that we have real, real quality and quality boxers and entertainment right here in this local area. It's important for all of us to support each other nowadays because it's, it's tough. You know, nothing is getting easier as we go on day by day. So you see these young fighters that don't necessarily get the opportunities to do some of these things, you know. And China gives those opportunities to these guys. He's been through the, he's been there, he's seen it, he's been through the muck, and he can help some of these guys, you know. And him, unlike a lot of other, you know, there's, there's, other, there's other people that do businesses whatever it is he did it he was in there anybody can say I'm gonna I'm gonna put on an event anybody can say I love boxing
but not everybody can say they were in the ring and they were a boxer. And so he brings that as well. So he can relate to his boxers and he's got a great eye, you know, and he, and he it works very hard. Nobody gives back to the community like China does, especially in this community. Tremendous athletes that we have in this area. That's what it's all about is the athletes that are here. Second of all, that people from all walks of life as well can get together, have a great afternoon, see some fantastic athletic entertainment and support each other and the community. And you, and you really, that's the beautiful thing about these as well too, is you do, you see, you see every walk of life here at these events. You see, you know, people just starting out and, and people that have, that are kicking back and relaxing because they're done and everybody gets together and just enjoys the sport. I have known China Smith for many, many years, and I've, I've known him to be the most community-focused uh, person, and he works with the children, and he's really good bringing them to organize sports. And as soon as uh, he asked me, I said, China, I'm, I'm your fight doctor. And in my real life, I do dermatology, but here I do uh, physicals on the uh, kids in the uh, USA Boxing Association. And I check the uh, kids before they fight, each and every one, to make sure that they're healthy and ready for today's fight. They're all uh, seeing their regular doctors once a year for a complete physical. And just before the fight, I go over their blood pressure. I have had, unfortunately, to tell some uh, fighters that I could not approve them for fighting. And in a way, it's a blessing to find medical issues in young people and refer them to get the uh, care that will prolong their life. And uh, it's a blessing to find these issues when they're young. So we're pretty thorough when we go over them to make sure they're ready for the fight. There can be no concussions, there can be uh, no pain, no restrictions, and, uh, and then I approve them for the fight. And then, of course, during the fight, it's my responsibility to keep an eye on them. And I do have the authority to shut the fight down at any time. But the referees are so good about stopping the fight uh, they don't want anyone to get hurt, and I've never used that uh, authority. And then when the fighters leave the ring, they stop and talk to me, and I make sure that everything is fine before I sign off on their books. Part of USA Boxing, they have uh, uh, a EMT here on site, ready for any emergency. And in the five fights I have been ringside doctor, we've never needed them. But I'm, I am prepared to do minor laceration repair.
and that's where my dermatology experience uh, comes in handy. I think any time you can take a kid that has no direction and give them direction, you're making our community a better place to live. And China is, uh, he, he's the man and he's demonstrated that he, he does the talk and the walk and I uh, volunteer my time because of China. <laughs> Well, my name is Nate Campbell, former undisputed lightweight champion in the world. Um, I'm here training with my kids that I bought now from Jacksonville. I, um, I try to make every tournament I can with these kids. I want to get them as much experience as I can. Want to make you know make 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 for a very good you know showing every year for the, you know the state of box, box state of Florida boxing. For me, I started late. I didn't I didn't have my first amateur fight till I was 25. And it is often said that if I had started years earlier, that I'd have been champion longer and uh, all these different things. But for me, what I, I simply say is, I think that it's, first of all, it's, it's good to get them started early. Keeps them out of trouble, gives them something to do. Then you're able to hone and redefine who they are as people through boxing and through other educational tools that you may use. Boxing is 90% is ninety percent mental. I don't care who you are. You If you can think it, you can do it. But I instill... I instill perseverance, dedication, hard work. I also instill a, a doggedness in my guys. If you're going to do this with me, you have to be a dog is what I call you. You have to be willing to stand up and do it and not allow people to stop you. Whatever you're going through, go through it. I started boxing pretty late in life. Um, I went on to fight in the Olympic trial, um, fight to make the Olympic trials, which was through the Florida State Boxing Commission, but I, the Florida State Boxing um, Association, but I also... Um, I, I went pro ahead of time. I just went ahead and went pro. And um, I went ahead and had a good, good career. 37 wins, 11 losses, one draw, one, one no contest with 26 knockouts. But I, but I became what they call unified. But, but I, was, I, I became undisputed when I could not unify because the guy that fought, the only guy to have a title, the only guy to have a title that wouldn't fight me was Manny Pacquiao. So I couldn't get that fight. So, so they, they gave me super champion status and all these things. The guys that, 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 that started me boxing were old guys that had been waiting for a guy like me to come along. And when they found me, they said they'd been waiting 50 years. I don't want to take, I don't want to take 50 years for another me to come along. So I made a promise to one of the guys. I said that what I would do, I said that I would, I said, listen, I'm going to give back whatever you give me. So my goal is now to give back every ounce of knowledge that was given to me. So for me, it's my, it's my claim, it's my, it's my passion. The greatest moments of my life are when I was an amateur to me sometimes. I, I look around and I think, man, I fought with some of these. As a matter of fact, one of the guys fighting tonight, me and his, man, me and his trainer fought twice. And um, I look around and I see all these young faces and I see all the things that are going on. And I'm like, man, this is the part of boxing that was so pure. It was no money involved. If I, I, would, I would come down on a shoestring budget, drive down, drive home. And tonight I told my guys, tonight I said, today we're going to do it. We're going to drive down, fight, and drive home. 
I said, this is the way. And then next week, we'll be at another tournament. So for me, it's, the, it's the, the camaraderie. You learn the teamwork and the friendship of your team fighting against everybody else. And then when you win the states and the regionals, you become friends and teammates with guys that you might have fought against. And you learn, you learn guys are pretty good guys if you get to know them. It teaches you respect. I always thought China was too small to be a heavyweight. I wanted him to be a cruiserweight so bad. And I would, I would ride him for that. I, man, come on, man. Go down to cruiser. But I knew the, the reason he was doing was money was in the heavyweight division at the time. But, man, we came up. Me and China came up about the same time. He was here in Sarasota area boxing. And I was bo because I, I didn't. I boxed everywhere. I, I, I moved to Tampa, so we saw, we knew of each other pretty well. That area is right here. And um, I, I'm, I'm happy with what he's doing. I'm, I'm going to support him the best way that I can. I'm going to bring guys down. I'm going to always do my best to come and show up and support him. I want to be in the building as often as possible because I want him to be successful, and I want him to do as much as he can for amateur boxing.